Peace down here. Welcome to another episode of the Next Level Spartan Show. Today's topic is purpose is stronger than object. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Your goal, whatever you want to achieve, the next level results you would like to achieve in your life. Let's say it's weight loss because that's a very basic one that a lot of people want. You want to lose weight, great for you. That's the object. Okay, but what's the purpose behind it? Why do you actually want to lose that weight? Because like I've said so many times, obstacles are inevitable. We will all face obstacles. You will have massive roadblocks in front of you to actually reach on the road to reaching that goal. So let's say for instance, not just saying you want to lose weight, let's say you have a big goal. You want to lose 20 kilograms. 20 kilograms is not easy. It's going to take a bit of time. It's simple, but it's not easy. Okay, so that's the object. What is the purpose behind it? Why do you want to lose 20 kilograms? Is it to just look good? Because that's not very strong. That's not a strong purpose. Is it to impress my husband? That might be a little bit stronger because maybe you've let yourself go and he's suddenly starting to look around and you are getting a little bit afraid that you might lose him because you're not looking the young, beautiful self you used to. I'm not saying you're not, I'm just giving it as an example. Um, is it that maybe your health has gone so bad due to this extra 20 kilograms that you are lacking energy? You have no purpose behind you, meaning that you're feeling lethargic and stuff and then you're battling to work properly. Everything just feels like you're down and out because of this extra 20 kilograms. So is it messing up your world so big that if you could change this around, if the purpose behind it is that you actually want to change your life around because this 20 kilograms is really holding you back in more than one area, guess what? Suddenly your purpose is a little bit stronger. Is it that maybe your kids, you, you're not able to play with your kids outside and you have to get a nanny to play with them or you have to take them to the park where they play on their own and you're just sitting on a bench because you can't get up and move around as much as you would like to. Now, all of these might sound a little bit harsh, but I can tell you now that there's no better purpose or stronger purpose than things like that. Things that can actually swap and change your life around. Is the stronger your purpose is, the bigger chance you have of achieving next level results in that specific area you want. Because at the end of the day, like I just said, purpose is stronger than object. It's easy to say you want to lose weight, but what is going to make you push through to that next level? What's going to make you push through the hard times? It's only going to be a very strong purpose because if you're going to let yourself down, if you can let someone else down and there's going to be massive consequences for you not achieving that specific goal, then there's going to be a very, very, very good chance and I can almost guarantee that you will achieve that goal. You will achieve next level results in fitness or life, depending on whatever goal you want. Remember, this is not just in fitness, this is in life as well. You can apply this to anything with business. If you have to absolutely stop your business or change your business around and absolutely take things to the next level because you might lose your house, because you might go bankrupt, because you won't be able to put food on the table for your kids, because you would lose your wife or whatever the reason is, the stronger the purpose behind wanting to achieve a goal is, the better chance you have of achieving that goal. Okay. That's it for today. As always, I'd love to hear your comments. Love to for you to share this video with someone that might benefit from it. I want to thank you for watching the Next Level Spot Show, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks, Ed. Cheers.